think this one is quite straightforward, hey? But we yeah, can get someone to talk about it. something that is interesting with that population registration. Yeah. For example, if you are feeling with set, I'm not sure whether it's, it's set 83 or, but these government forms, if you apply for something, mm. there's, uh, there's, there's something that mm. identifies you then yeah. which race mm. do you belong to, colored, black, African. They are still using that population registration. Although they said now we are mm. but it is no more. Mm -hmm. But there are laws, there are laws that they are still using it. Yeah, I mean, that's a very interesting point and I, I know at UCT and I'm sure also at, at other varsities they've had these debates like when I want to apply to go to UCT I must tick and say am I black, exactly. I must tick and say you know and, and you're a foreigner and now in 2014 what if I don't want to identify myself in that way. Um, my views are, but we're open to argument and discussion and so on. My views are because of the need for redress and the, the need to undo the past, it's important to, to put that on paper because of our affirmative action laws and um, in the working space, your BEE policies and so forth. So for me, I think that it is important in institutions to, to know how many people are we Build, are we uplifting or how are we addressing um, affirmative action and so so on because if we were complete we were to completely just leave that aside and forget about all these race classifications that were in the past that are still affecting how society is shaped now then we wouldn't really be addressing the issue some people feel differently some people feel that it's actually time to commit racial suicide as in forget what your race is and move and move on without be having to classify yourself or when you vote or when you do your government forms or when you apply for a job or so forth. Um, and I mean, I think that's, that's also a very, um, that's a position that is worth respecting because for some people it's not so easy to say, well, you know, I'm black, but I don't know, am I black, my mom's white, my dad's black. So it is very, it is quite a complex issue. That's my view. People may feel differently, but but if it's it's for, it's based on that reason, at least it's reasonable. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I can make an example. <clears throat> Most of the time, the these white people, if I'm correct, but I'm starting to correct you, mm -hmm. they always assume that black people doesn't want to go to school. Maybe if it's for that reason. They can prove that at least now we are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes? No, the thing is, uh, what I would like, like to do, okay, okay, let's say I'm applying at UCT. Then UCT, for like, for a certain course, they want like 2,000 students mm -hmm. in. And you have to, like, they also have to check their requirements. Mm -hmm. So if, like, we are, okay, we are all applying there, then, like, a few of us do that like, qualify for the course. What why do we lack like, what's what's the point of going to a race whereby don't you have, don't like have to check who's applying for for this particular course and then take the number of the first applicants of the people that applied for the, for getting in the institution other than going to do, because going to a race we're saying okay, black people there are like five black people who applied for this okay that's fine since we want to increase the number of black people that we, has to be in the institution let's take the all fact them whereby they are white people like who maybe have like more requirements more than myself as a black person who will not be taken to the institution so i don't get why is why if for for instance if they look at the requirements and all that they know the number of students they want where does the race get into so are you are, are you suggesting that maybe it's unfair to make to use race as a standard yes i am i don't think it's it's suitable to use race i think best way is to just look at the requirements and the number that they want then the race i am I think I think you know we could we could spend all afternoon on this one point. Um, it's 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 
it's very interesting. There's a lot of research. There's a lot of debate on this one point. Unfortunately, this isn't <laughs> isn't the space for 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 that today. Mm-hmm. But I think um, if we could if we could use use the you know this discussion, we can take this discussion further. But l- let's just let's just you know <laughs> keep going with our Ravonia trial course today. Uh, but we can keep this at the back of our minds. I mean. Now we know that we had the <coughs> act, and we can you can you can do your research and pull it up, and maybe in your argument, Cizwe, when you, you you can use that as a tool to say, are we going back to where we were back in 1952 with this?